that is the upload process right now of VidCluster. Don't get too excited. It's going to take a while. in advance if this is a weird setting to do a vlog but I haven't done a vlog in a while it's been like two weeks and it's because I was working on the Canadian survival story and then highway to heal so I have six weeks approximately left of school and it's just getting so much harder and I think that from now until then what I'm going to be mainly uploading are vlogs and then when I'm home for the summer and I have like on break when I have like a bunch of time to really be able to focus on creating cool things for this channel besides just typical vlogs. Um, yeah, that's gonna be like more towards the summer. It's not gonna be anything I'm doing like right now. I don't have any more films planned, um, but they're gonna be things that like I'm really looking forward to doing, but I really wanna get more into vlogging because it is extremely therapeutic to talk to the camera about what my days are like. I also want to make a statement that um, I keep seeing like a lot of issues kind of arising on YouTube. I think we all kind of have in the creative community about how we feel like a lot of um, the monetization works and how YouTube has kind of recently changed its policies yet again over the past few months. Um, I kind of want to just say that in my personal experience, a channel that's very small still with like, I think I'm at 24 subscribers now. Um, with a channel this small, I think I have like a good kind of, good kind of like angle for this topic. Because people say that like, cause okay, just a brief background. When I first joined like starting YouTube videos in the summer of 2017, the policy was that you needed 10,000 total channel views in order to be eligible to get your videos monetized. Now it's you need 4,000 view hours and 1,000 subscribers, which is like a significant bump up. Um, thing is, is like, I don't disagree with how that works. I think that YouTube has a lot of things they have to protect, one being their advertisers and two being their creators. You know, I think their creators definitely come first and that doesn't necessarily get seen because of, you know, how it kind of looks in the creative world they're making it harder but i think they're also giving us an opportunity to work harder make our content more you know creative and i like i think i see a lot of like small youtube channels really complaining about this but if your content's good and you're working hard you're gonna get a thousand subscribers but youtube's really just eliminating the dead weight of people who are just trying to make a quick buck off of youtube because there are a ton of channels that really are just dedicated to just uploading and trying to make a thousand subscribers and or trying to just make money quickly. A thousand subscribers, if you're not dedicated to what you're doing, is hard. A thousand subscribers, if you're truly dedicated to the creative community and you're dedicated it to yourself, it's it's only a matter of time, and that time is doing things that you love, which is creating. And that's the way I look at it. I love creating these videos. I love doing vlogs. I love making videos of any sort. And whatever point it takes me to get to a thousand, it won't matter because to me, it's not about monetizing my videos. To me, it's about being as creative as I possibly can. And I think a lot of people overlook that factor that in the grand scheme of things, a thousand subscribers isn't that much. Maybe it is to a small, a small channel, but not really. And yeah, it's probably gonna take me a little while to get there, but it doesn't matter because I'm doing what I love and it's making these videos on this channel and uploading them and being a creator. And YouTube has given me a platform to do that. Monetized or not, it doesn't make a difference to me. And you know, everybody has their own opinion, but I think if you're a true creator, it shouldn't make a difference to you as well. But that's kind of just my two cents on that whole like topic. Now, like from the looks of it, VidCluster should be up and running in its entirety by Monday. 
So the video kind of introducing Drake Laster will be up on Monday morning with a link to the website. Um, it's been a real process and I think that the video will shed a lot of light on how this whole thing has kind of impacted me and how it makes me feel, you know, really pushing the bounds of my creative, my creative career. And I think you'll understand a little bit better about what I want to do and what I want to be based off the video kind of introducing Fit Cluster as a whole.